The focus was always on these things. The students lining up to pay fees or to collect some exemption, you know, and so on, admit card, or all other aspects. Uh, one of the purpose of implementing new digital transformation is to avoid this change, to make it easy for students and for administrators so that we don't deal with large crowds and so on. When I was looking for a solution to do this transformation, we wanted to make sure that everything that is done uh, is digitally done. You cannot be doing something part digitally, part non digitally. That creates a problem. That creates a problem of flow of data, that uh, creates a problem of uh, other issues. So we invited proposals from different vendors. We went to a rigorous scrutiny. And then, based on that, we saw a promise in the call form. And then we, along with management, decided that we will be using Purple platform and do it in two phases. First phase, we will do it in the university and the College of Architecture, which is a smaller college in terms of the number of students. And then phase two, we will implement all of them uh, with the same school. That's how we chose Purple because the promise it gave us of complete uh, modules covering all aspects that the university and the college is required. Purple Digital Campus is a suit of 40 plus technologies driving digital transformation of academics, administration and campus experience at higher educational institutions. When we had a chance to interact with DY Patel Pratishtha and we were delighted to see that they shared the same vision of looking at digital transformation as a perpetual long term process and not just a one time activity. We first emphasized on building a very robust system of record which will help the institution manage entire data and, and bring it at one place so that better reporting and compliance can be done. So when we started preparing for RD on, it became very easy for us. And now for the last few years, we don't see a in the campus. Of course, it's because of the pandemic. But if we require the students to come to campus, pay fees and so on, of course, it's very disaster because we're not able to collect. Able to collect. So we lucky in some sense that we started this transformation before the pandemic helped us. So we were ready with this, and that has a major impact in the way we operate the, the institution, the campus. The second thing that happened was that we had already trained people in using the system. So when the pandemic hit us, all of them were comfortable in using the system. So that also was a major gain. So today, uh, we are quite happy in the digital transformation that is taking place, but we are of course not going to stop at this, this process is going to continue. The outcome of this collaboration has been wonderful with the leadership team getting transparency at both macro and micro levels. Each activity at an institution, department as well as at student level can be tracked. Post this collaboration, we have also witnessed an enhanced efficiency and collaboration between multiple stakeholders reduction in duplication of work, elimination of errors from data management, among others. Our next goal was to focus on student learning and experience, where we achieved uh, the, this through the digital learning stack, which we offer to institutions, uh, which includes an NEP compliant academic management system, a mobile first learning management system, and a robust examination management system. Not just the inside classroom learning, Corpol also extends learning beyond the classroom by offering a highly engaging campus social network where students and faculty members can continue to engage. We are very delighted with the results of digital transformation activities we have been able to do at DY Patel Pratishtha. All this obviously was possible because of Corpol's cloud native architecture, which is supported by Amazon Web Services. I think our edtech ecosystem in India has done some phenomenal work over the last many years. For the last two years, we saw the ecosystem actually deliver and support the learning system uh, when the pandemic came in and the lockdown happened, etc. So we have a lot of edtechs that have stepped in, providing content, uh, providing assessments. And I think they're at a scale that I don't think anyone would have thought was possible is being delivered right now. We've been working with uh, Call Paul for a really long time, right? 2019, 2018, when we started working with them. 
I think uh, Hemant and his team have something similar with us because they're very particular about trying to ensure they provide a very high level of customer experience, which is something that we are very famous for. So I think that's one one place that we align very well with Call Paul. So we work with the team very effectively. Our next two goals uh, at Dubai Partner Pratishtan is one to enhance the utilization of campus social network, which will increase the collaboration among teachers, students, administrators, and even parents and prospective uh, students who are going to be joining the institution in the future. Uh, the second is uh, implementing business process automation, which is a dynamic workflow engine to boost productivity, transparency, and also reduce human errors. Innovation has been one of the most important things uh, at Colpol. And we have found a great partner in AWS where whenever we think of something new, innovative to, to bring in more value to our partner institution, AWS is right there supporting us in making that happen.